and discuss it and the spirit entered us there was a woman she was still new in church then but thank god she con she connected with us before what happened to her happened she in her compound sent her little boy of five years old to go downstairs and call an auntie while the boy went downstairs he stepped on this um, slab but the slab was weak slab they used to cover the soak away and the slab caved in and that baby fell into that place everybody in the compound was running helter skelter people were screaming calling the mom's name and they brought a ladder very long ladder dipped it inside but the the, the soak away swallowed the ladder and the soak away was filled with everything we think we know about and while they were screaming they called the mom the mom came downstairs they said look how your son fell into this place may you not hear such a news your son fell into she looked she could see all the nonsense where is my son and she started screaming and crying she said for the five minutes one hour into crying helplessly she remembered that message of the angel of might and she started screaming oh god of my father Oh call on my father, Reverend David O'Willy, send your angel of might to come and rescue my son. She said, I locked my eyes, I locked my heart because you don't need distraction then. And as she was screaming, Come and rescue my son from this okay way pit. All of a sudden, they saw two hands coming out of that pit. And they were the tiny hands of this five-year-old that fell into that place. People ran and carried the boy, ran to the hospital. When they got to the hospital and the doctors heard what happened to the boy, they abandoned every other thing they were doing and gave attention to that boy. Pressing and pressing, trying to extract water and all the debris that should have come into that boy's system. While they were doing that, Con and Pierre came out. The mom said that was what he ate in the morning therefore where was the water where was the mess that was in the soccer way where was it and another one that was that the boy was alive and they started asking the boy what happened the boy said the boy said i fell down and i fell down oh to show you how long it took him to get to the bottom of that soccer way he said and i lay down there and i slept and i slept oh to show you how long he slept a five-year-old couldn't distinguish between sleep and death because he couldn't have been alive in the soak away pit for more than five to seven minutes he said she said he said while i was there oh my akiata a man wearing white came to me and said to me your mama is looking for you and while he wanted to know who the person was the person carried him up and told and carried him up and told him stretch forth your hands he said it was a person that brought me close to the where they saw the hands and it was a person also told me stretch forth your two hands he said i did and that's how they pulled him out This angel of might is in the house now and every angel of might has many angels called ministering spirits that function with them he's here tonight and there are ministering spirits all over this place one major prayer you will pray for yourself is God give me the revelation of my pastor the man say my father my father the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof this very moment these angels are here the chariots are here i see the glory of the lord in this place the bible said that this angel they excel in strength and they hearken unto the voice of the world the capacity of these angels will outweigh the capacity of your troubles outweigh the capacity of your sickness cancer is dying now Leukemia is going now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the pain on your shoulder blood is gone. 
I mean the spinal cord injury is healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Para mi shara katura mahambra toka, embradu shaka na bahaya, rafeke pora tuka, andele shuka mankaya, para feti la bahaya. Put your hand wherever you're hurting. You have sickness in your body. You have disease in your body. Put your hand wherever you're hurting. For the power of God is in this place. The angels of God are in this place. They are moving about. They are touching you. They are touching your body. They are touching your soul. They are touching at the point of your need. Kalibon Sharabayata. Put your hand wherever you're hurting. Wherever you're hurting, the blind will see. The 